All right, so we've been talking a lot over the last couple of days about the big event and the Big Easy, the mm -hmm. Super Bowl. And there are two special guests who are in town for that this weekend. they are two wounded warriors right here from our area, and they're being recognized for their sacrifice. They've been flown to New Orleans for the big game. John Gonzalez caught up with them and has this story. Of the thousands who are experiencing Super Bowl week here in New Orleans, perhaps two of the most grateful and appreciative are two local men. Navy Operations Specialist Jeremy Johnson and Army Sergeant Charles Dalgo. I got to see some things, some things I'd like to forget, some things that I probably never will forget, uh, but this is an, an awesome experience. Dalgo is a wounded warrior who twice cheated death. And I was in several firefights, one IED explosion, I got TBI, you know, PTSD and all that good stuff, And uh, but what, you, what, what coming here is awesome. Specialist Johnson completed two tours abroad. He's thrilled to be home and home in time for the spectacle that is the Super Bowl. Fantastic, man. This is beyond my wildest dream right now. So. With 15,000 of their own money and another 10,000 in donations, Matt Stetchen and his father call this a journey around the country they created last September. My dad and I set out on a journey to go to all 32 NFL stadiums, but uh, to make it even bigger than us, uh, we wanted to include the uh, wounded heroes of our country. And uh, we invited two veterans to every NFL stadium with us. And uh, we're here in New Orleans taking uh, actually four guys to the Super Bowl on Sunday. And as part of this whole Super Bowl experience for this very special group of veterans, an up close and personal look at each Super Bowl ring through the years, as well as the Vince Lombardi trophy. This is something so small, but yet so big to us because life is short. And we, we know that, and that's why we live in every day to the fullest. In New Orleans, John Gonzalez, ABC 7 News.